The reason to how we come to choose this piece of art is because we wanted to keep the theme of animals going, in which we already have big paintings like ours painted by other students in the art elective from different grades. Paintings such as the owl and the cat and some of you from you, which is seen. the parrot, the dog, and the giraffe. In the end, of course, we chose the dogs. So that's how we come to choose our piece of art. So in order to get the correct proportion while sketching it, we used a tool called the proportional divider. So what it does is that it helps you sketch out a small artwork into a bigger version. So basically what we did was that we printed out the um, image of the dog onto a paper and then use the proportional divider to draw it accurately and proportionally onto a bigger paper. We started off using chalk to trace and sketch all our lines. Okay, so then we just put a bunch of paint acrylic, mix the colors to its perfection, and then we painted it with a big paintbrush so it covers more space. But then it took like a lot of paint, but we did it in the end. Same goes with the carpet, but we used a different technique, which was using a different brush. We ended up using a sponge, and then we just dab it. So it would create this like foamy pop-out texture, so that it would look more like a carpet than using a normal brush to paint it. So that's why there's like a contrast between these two textures on our dog. Collaboration and communication is very vital in making such a huge piece of artwork. We need to know whatever we're doing and whenever we're doing that so that the work can flow very smoothly and that we can hit every deadline. We started our art project around the second semester of the last school year. Uh, we work on it during art class and even during after school hours as well. Uh, however, we weren't able to finish it because of COVID. So as of now, the artwork remains unfinished. Yeah, that's a video. Oh,